Hey there, happy Sunday, Mill High School. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you are having or have had a great weekend. I want to apologize for uh, no video last week with the four-day weekend and uh, being sick myself. It threw me off. Uh, I am recovering, and I'm hopeful that I can get through this without coughing, uh, so we'll see how that goes. So first and foremost, parents and students want to make you aware that as of tomorrow, five weeks stands between us and spring break, uh, which is exciting, and hopefully the weather will start to be a little more like spring. I know we're all ready for that, but I want to make you aware of one day in particular. Friday, March 27th uh, is a day that's a little bit in question on our calendar. That is a potential snow makeup day. So parents, I want to make you aware, please don't bank on that being a non-school day. Um, obviously, we've had snow and ice in the month of March before. Uh, it obviously could, could happen this year. So please know that Friday, March 27th is a snow makeup day right now. It's a non-school day for students, but if we have any missed days between now and that day, it would become a school day for students. A little different schedule this week, so number two, we will be doing some field testing. Sophomores and juniors around the state of Kentucky will be taking field tests at Mill High School this Wednesday, February 26th. Sophomores will either be taking a reading or math field test. On Thursday, juniors will be taking an on-demand writing or a language mechanics field test. Both of those days, sophomores and juniors, your field test will be computer-based, which we're excited about. We think that'll make the process a little smoother, a little less disruptive, and we can get through the testing process a little quicker. Also, this week as a school community, uh, we celebrate the end of Black History Month. Students, you're going to have an opportunity to dress up. Um, and in my e-news below, you'll see the opportunities to dress up and to celebrate Black History Month at Mel High School. Students, I remind you that if you dress up, that's fantastic. If you choose not to, you're expected to be in regular Mel High School dress code attire. Also, this Friday, February 28th, will be the Black History Month celebration as a school. We look forward to celebrating together and ending the month together Friday morning in the auditorium. Number four. Parents, students, this can often be a difficult topic to talk about in schools, uh, but in today's e-news, I'm sending a suicide prevention refresher. That's something we typically talk about in the month of September and we often forget about for the rest of the school year. Um, so parents, there, is, there are some things for you to open and, and, and look at and review with yourself and with your student, your male high school student, maybe a middle school student. Um, feel free to share that with them and talk through them uh, with that as a family. It's important information. Uh, there's also some links um, who you can talk to if you need help, some support uh, with mental health or if a student might be going through a tough time. Lastly, this week is the final opportunity uh, to participate and partake in the Comprehensive School Survey. We would love your feedback. We do receive that and it helps us to improve. Uh, so there you go. Five things this week. Let's make it a great week. It's the last week of February. Again, five weeks between now and spring break. Let's make it a great stretch. There's a lot to accomplish. Have a great night and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.